But cows produce way more milk than their calf could ever need, so what's wrong with taking the rest of it? If you've ever had a comment like that, then maybe this video's for you. Hello again, I'm Nigel from Mad About Animals. This is the first video in what we hope will be a short series about questions or comments that we get when doing street activism. So we're going to cover things that people say to us and how we respond. Recently, whilst doing some street activism in Manchester, I was talking to a guy who said he was vegetarian and had been pretty much all his life. Questioned him a bit more and it turned out that he was vegetarian for a mixture of ethical reasons and religious reasons. From some of the things he said, I think he was probably Hindu, although I didn't actually clarify that, but that's not really important at this stage. So when he told me that he was vegetarian, naturally, the conversation got on to eggs and dairy. We started to talk about dairy. So he ran me through his logic for drinking milk. Essentially, it boiled down to the fact that cows these days give way more milk than is possibly needed to feed their calves and therefore what's wrong with taking the excess milk. In fact, we're doing the cow a favour because the cow would be uncomfortable if we didn't take that milk from her. So it's uh, effectively a byproduct of her feeding her calf and it's something that's causing her discomfort. So taking the milk is actually helping the mother. Now, superficially, this sounds reasonable, doesn't it? The mother's uncomfortable because she gives too much milk. So I said to the guy, why is she giving milk? She's only giving milk because she's had a calf. And he looked at me as if to say, what do you mean? And then the penny dropped. He said, oh yeah, of course, of course. She's had a calf. That's why she's giving milk. So we talked a little bit about that, about obviously the, uh, the cow has had a calf and the milk is designed for that calf. But then he said, but there's still a lot of milk left over and it's only going to go to waste. It's only going to cause the mother discomfort. So I said, but if she wasn't pregnant in the first place, if she didn't calf in the first place, she would have no milk at all to give. She's a mammal. She only gives milk when she has babies. And he conceded that in fairness to him. So that's the first item. If the mother never has a baby, she doesn't produce milk. So it's not a case of we're relieving the milk because the milk's been produced anyway and we're doing the mother a favour. We artificially inseminate cows in the West. So if we didn't inseminate them, they wouldn't be pregnant and they wouldn't give milk. They wouldn't lactate. So that's the first thing. But then he said, but we always make sure that we give the calf as much milk as the calf needs and we only take the excess. So then I said to him, but you do realise that over hundreds, maybe even thousands of years, domesticated animals that we'd get milk from, mostly cows, but sometimes sheep and goats, and occasionally horses and some other animals, but mostly cows, they've been selectively bred to give higher and higher milk yields. That's why they give way more milk than their calf needs, because they've been selectively bred to do so. So if you look at animals of similar sizes, so a zebra or a horse, or a buffalo, those sorts of animals, when they have babies, they produce enough milk for their babies, and that's it. They don't produce gallons more because they've not been selectively bred to do so. So that's the point here, that we artificially inseminate these mothers to get them pregnant in the first place, and then we've selectively bred them to give even more milk than would be required for their babies. So while superficially, we're not doing anything wrong by helping the mother get rid of her excess milk. We have created that situation. We've artificially inseminated them to get them pregnant in the first place. We've selectively bred them to overproduce milk. So why don't we just not do that? Why don't we just stop selectively breeding them? Why don't we just stop artificially inseminating them? Farmed animals, farmed cows are not a natural species. We don't need their milk. We don't need to get them pregnant. If they're not pregnant, they have no calves to feed. They will not lactate. It's not rocket science. So superficially, it might sound like you're doing the mother a favour. 
but when you look at it logically we're not we're abusing those mothers so that's the line i like to take when i'm talking to people particularly vegetarians who can't see anything wrong with taking excess milk from the mother it's not excess milk it's milk that shouldn't be there in the first place i'm nigel from mad about animals if you found this interesting or informative please like share and subscribe and watch out for the next video thank you